I've always trusted God for unseen things. I've always trusted God for bigger things. I've always trusted God for imaginable things. And after praying and positioning myself for a breakthrough, God has always delivered to me whatever he has promised he will do it. He is not a man that he should lie. He is a faithful God. Hello, child of God. Thank you so much for joining Inspiration Girl right today. I hope and trust that you're well. We are watching me from and God has kept you. Praise be the name of the Lord. My returning subscriber, welcome. My new subscriber, welcome. If you're watching me for the first time, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Your presence here, I don't take it for granted. And my prayer is always that may God bless you, may God enrich you, and may God meet you at your most point of need. And if you're watching me for the first time, my name is Ruth. Here I share the word of God. I share faith-based content. I motivate you. I inspire you through the word of God and also help women become a better version of themselves through the word of God. So I'm going to encourage you, if this kind of content interests you, or this is the kind of content you have been looking for to nourish your soul, then I'm going to encourage you kindly proceed and support this ministry by subscribing to this channel down below here and always put on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you're always among the first people to be notified. In our message today, I have a quick one and I want to share with you one thing that you need to do after prayer and fasting. I'm going to share this message on a personal understanding. What has really worked for me and I'm so delighted to impart the same uh, information into your life to the glory and honor of God. Child of God, I've come to realize throughout my journey of faith and throughout my journey of salvation and I've come to realize that many believers do not get their prayers answered how they have desired God to answer their prayers after prayer and fasting and the word of God clearly instructs us to pray he says in his word this kind cannot go away without prayer and fasting so it means that every after prayer and fasting you must get your prayer answered and you must get your breakthrough if you don't get your prayer answered after fasting then there's something wrong because the word of God clearly says that this kind can only be moved through prayer and fasting. The word of God says in the book of 2 Chronicles, verse 14, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. So if you humble yourself before the Lord in prayer, humbling means praying and fasting. When you humble yourself in prayer and fast and seek his face, then God will hear you from heaven and then God will forgive your sins and he will heal your land. It is as clear as it is. You don't need any kind of interpretation. The word of God is clear. When you humble yourself in prayer, he will hear you, he will forgive your sins and he will heal your land. Healing your land means there will be prosperity, there will be healing of physical diseases, there will be spiritual nourishment, deliverance shall take place, people will be delivered from their captives, people will move to the next levels of their life after prayer and fasting. So I realize that many believers, sometimes they don't get their prayer answered, or sometimes you don't get your prayer answered the way you want them to be answered by God after praying fasting just because of one thing. And you can also remember the time the Israelites were in the wilderness. They stayed so long in the wilderness because their mouth was full of murmuring, full of complaining. They were complaining about everything and they were worshipping other idols. They didn't have patience and they didn't have faith in God. They didn't believe that God can take them to the next level. 
His lives were full of murmuring and complaining. And, and that's why they overstayed in the wilderness. They were not able to see the promised land as fast as they were supposed to. Because their mouths were full of murmuring and complaining. And they were also engaging in worshipping other gods in quotes. They were worshipping other idols. And that's why they overstayed in the wilderness. Even after God feeding them manna from above, they kept on complaining and murmuring. So in this video today, I want to enlighten you and also want to help you and make your journey easier after praying and fasting. You know, when we engage into prayer and fasting, we are always very intentional and you want God to do something in your life. You want a change of story and you want God to take us to the next level. Many of us engage into prayer and fasting with different reasons. And we want God to answer us and to hear us and to deliver us from whatever we are asking God to do. But after prayer and fasting, many of us are full of murmuring and complaining. That's one thing that is hindering believers children of God from not experiencing the full glory and the full power of God after fasting. After fasting, what you need to do, you need to do a thanksgiving prayer and position yourself for a breakthrough. Anytime you want to experience the greatness of God in your life, child of God, you have to position yourself for a breakthrough even in the normal world physical world we're living right now when you want to aspire for a better job a better career a better position you have to position yourself either by dressing by studying and impacting more knowledge and skills so that you are prepared enough for the next assignment is the same thing that applies into the spiritual matters you need to position yourself just as the bride positions herself ready for marriage. When the groom and the bride are preparing for the big day, they always position themselves for marriage and for the bigger day that's coming ahead of them. Some couples even go ahead and engage into marital classes. And even in some communities, some brides are prepared with older women that are ahead of them ready for marriage is the same thing that applies in spiritual matters after fasting and praying as a child of god you need to position yourself for a breakthrough very important start thanking god for that miracle that you have not seen because this kind of mountain cannot move without prayer and fasting so that means there must be a breakthrough after praying fasting. So if you don't get answers, if you don't receive answers, then something is amiss. So child of God, today I want you to understand that after fasting, position yourself ready for a breakthrough. Stop murmuring and complaining and stop engaging into other gods. Delay is not denial. Just position yourself knowing that something has shifted in the supernatural the word of god says in the book of james chapter 1 verse 7 to 8 the doubter must not suppose that he will receive anything from the lord he is a double-minded man and stable in all his ways if you are a child of god and you are a doubter you are not going to receive anything from god a child of god sometimes we limit god we don't know if God can do extraordinary things in our life. We tell God small things because we believe God will not pass this level in our life. Today, I want you to understand that God has a good future for you. And God can do extraordinary things that you don't even expect from him. He's an undeniable God. He's an unchangeable God. He's a miracle God. He's a God of 11th hour. He's a miracle God. The word of God clearly says if you are a child of God and you are a doubter, you are not supposed to receive anything from God. If you doubt God, then you won't receive anything from God. If your daughter or your son 
has faith in you, believes in you as a parent, and he knows regardless of what, you'll provide food, you'll put food on their table, you'll provide for their necessities, their education, their clothing. The basic needs will be provided by you. And your child believes in you and he knows you'll provide without fail. It's the same thing in the spiritual world. If you are a child of God and you believe in God, and you believe in his promises, then there is no good gift that God will deny you. Every perfect and good thing comes from God. And the blessings of God do not bring sorrow. So today, you need to understand that you should not doubt God. You should not murmur after prayer and fasting. You should not start complaining and telling people how your miracle has delayed. You should not start denying God. What you need to do, you should just position yourself for a breakthrough. Package yourself to receive a breakthrough. Package yourself for the next assignment. It has really worked wonders for me and I want you to start practicing this kind of attitude. Start having a positive mindset. Start being positive after fasting. Start speaking it with your mouth as if you have already received. Speak what you want to see. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Start thanking God. Raise that card, that prayer request, and thank God for the unseen. That's what faith is. Believing God has done it. Thanking God even before you see it and knowing that he will do it. Trust in God. Give thanks to God. Receive it already. And position yourself for the next assignment. So if you're watching me right now, and maybe you have been uh, doing your prayer and fasting, praying, believing in God in miracles, believing in God to change your story, to change your levels, to give you a good job, marital blessings, to bless you with a spouse, you know, believing God for an overseas visa, trusting God for healing, and maybe you have been doubting God, maybe after series of prayers you doubt god you complain you start visiting other witchcrafts during the night you know you are diluting your prayers and your prayers are not going to be answered ask anyone ask any believer ask any anointed men and women of god they will tell you the same thing that is one secret i learned after prayer and fasting i learned to trust in god I learned to focus, I learned to give thanksgiving prayer, I learned to worship, and more of, I learned to position myself for a miracle. I learned to start believing that this parking, there'll be a car here. I started believing that next week or next year, I'll not be in this country, depending on my prayer request. I've always trusted God for unseen things. I've always trusted God for bigger things. I've always trusted God for imaginable things. And after praying and positioning myself for a breakthrough, God has always delivered to me whatever he has promised he will do it. He is not a man that he should lie. He is a faithful God. So today I want to start practicing positive mind and position yourself for breakthrough after prayer and fasting. You are simply telling God, I've trusted you, I've prayed over this, and I know you are about to deliver this package. And when you position yourself, it will touch the heart of God, and with no doubt, God will deliver that package in your hands. Great friend, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have learned something uh, from this message today. If this message has impacted you positively, please like this video and also share this message to your network to the glory and honor of God. And remember to subscribe to this channel. We are growing on a road to 1,000 
subscribe us tell a friend tell a friend share these messages widely and subscribe and join this growing family to the glory and honor of god i'm going to wish you a good day i'm going to wish you god's blessing and i'm going to see you next time in your next message and goodbye for now thank you so much for watching and god bless you